The U.S. defense with China start fight aggressive in South China Sea. The Chinese are also doing a lot of strong arming behind the scenes. Esper said and referred to the war of words between China and Australia. The Chinese army is indulging in aggressive behavior in the South China Sea. And the Chinese Communist Party has ramped up its disinformation campaign to try to shift the blame on coronavirus and burnish its image. As Defense Secretary Mark Esper said on Tuesday, while the Chinese Communist Party ramps up its disinformation campaign to try to shift blame and burnish its image, we continue to see aggressive behavior by the plot in the South China Sea. Navy ship the sinking of Vietnamese fishing boat and intimidating other nations from engaging in offshore oil and gas development. Esper told reporters at a Pentagon news conference. Last week, two US Navy ships conducted freedom of navigation operations. In the South China Sea to send a clear message to Beijing that America will continue to protect the freedom of navigation and commerce for all nations large and small, he said. Many countries, Esper said, have turned inward to recover from the pandemic. And in the meantime, America's strategic competitors are attempting to exploit this crisis to their benefit at the expense of others. Responding to a question, he said the Chinese have not been transparent from the beginning on the coronavirus pandemic. If they had been more transparent, more open, upfront in terms of giving us access. The reporting, giving us access not to the people on the ground but to the virus they had so we could understand it. We would probably be in a far different place right now, but where we are now is this. China needs to allow the United States and to talk to early patients, Chinese researchers and scientists, and to have access. Instead, Esper alleged that the Chinese are trying to capitalize on this by promoting their own image that somehow, China is the good guy here. Despite everything they did or, more importantly, failed to do. Now they want to go out and say well, here's masks. We will give you masks, provide this or provide that, we will provide you funding. Look at all the good things we are doing. Yet, what we know is that they provide masks, they provide supplies. In many cases, it is not good. It does not do what it is supposed to do. It is broken equipment. Also, the strings attached are enormous in many cases. So, they're telling a country you can take these masks, but please. Put out publicly how good China is, how great we are doing, etc, etc. So there is a number of things they are doing to try and burnish their image. That is just two of them right there. The Chinese are also doing a lot of strong arming behind the scenes. Referred to the war of words between China and Australia. He plans to talk to his Australian counterpart later in the day. It is straight from the Chinese playbook. Once again, it is just a little bit more obvious this time with what they are doing. And how they are using a combination of compelling and coercion and everything else to try and shape the narrative and burnish the image of the Chinese Communist Party. China appears headed for another showdown with the United States. Over reported plans to establish an air defense identification zone, a DIS, in the South China Sea. And a DIS is a zone that stretches beyond the country's airspace. 
in which foreign aircraft are required to submit flight plans and identify themselves in the interests of national security. The Taiwan News claims China now plans its own ADIS, which is likely to bring the nation into conflict with the U.S., who move Navy ships through the area. According to the Taiwan News, Defense Minister Yen Tefa made the claim earlier this week. When asked how many Adlises there were around Taiwan, Yen is reported to have replied. There are two identification zones, one in the East China Sea and one in the South China Sea. In 2013, China announced it was setting up an Adlis in the East China Sea causing fallout with Australia after then-Foreign Minister Julie Bishop criticized the move. China said at the time the Adiz allowed it to direct air traffic over an area. Also claimed by Japan and Taiwan, although it has reportedly not enforced the Adiz in the years since. In 2018, Australian warships were challenged by China as they travelled through the disputed region.